All right, number five. So we kind of did this one on the bell ringer. So hopefully you can talk me through this time. I'll have you talk me through it. And the reason I really want you to is only 53% of you got this correct the first time around. Only half the class got it the first time around. So it says this, Andrew picks his soccer ball uh, from the ground with an initial velocity of 35 meters per second and an angle of eight degrees. How far away from Andrew will the soccer ball land? What type of problem is this one? Parametrics. Uh, it's just Jennifer saying, y'all agree with Jennifer? Yes. If you agree with it, Jennifer, it should either say parametric or it should give you a time or a time value somewhere. Does it? Yes. Yeah. What does it say? Meters per second. Okay. They don't give us a formula. Where do we get the formulas for this one? Projectile motion. Good. So we're going to take these two formulas. Okay. I'm going to copy them down and then I'll let you figure out whichever way you want to. Uh, the X equation. What is X? Okay, I'm gonna leave a spot, the y equation. Jesse. All right, let's plug in what they gave us. It says Andrew kicks a soccer ball from the ground. That's actually something. What does from the ground mean? Zero. The initial height of zero and an initial velocity of 35. I didn't want to mark meters here. That goes in as B0, 35, uh, at an angle of 8 degrees. I'm going to have to fill in gravity as well. For gravity, is gravity going to be 32 or 9.8 on this problem? Because we're in meters. It's 9.8. Now, Andrew kicks the soccer ball. I want to give it a little diagram for the X and Y. We know the ball goes like that, and it lands. What do we know right now? Do we know the X? Do we know the X value? No, that's what we're looking for. We don't know the X value. Do we know the Y value? Yes. We do know the Y value because it says Andrew kicks the soccer ball from the ground. Uh, how far away from Andrew will the ball land? What does that mean if it's saying land? Zero. When this ball hits a Y value of zero. So if you want to end solve, you substitute Y, substitute zero in for Y on this one. Okay, so if you do end solve, that's how you do it. If you want to use graphing, that's how you do it. Go ahead. I'll let you try for a moment. All right, I'm going to pick it up now in my calculator here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insolve, and then I'll do the graphing technique second. So if you're going to insolve, the value I know is the y. So I have to insolve this equation. So mini 3, 1. I know y is 0 here. This y is 0. And that's going to equal t times 35 sine of 8 degrees. minus one half 9.8 t squared plus zero. Now, if it enter right now, it gives me an error. What's the error? Comma t. And if I hit enter now, it tells me zero because it looks at this time right there. So how do I, what do I do to make this give me this answer right here? You put in a lower bound. I want to answer bigger than zero, so I have to put in a number bigger than zero. I'll put 0 0.1. When I hit enter, it tells me it's a, almost one second exactly. So that's the amount of time it takes the ball to land. Almost one second. So T is approximately 0 0.994. That's what I'm going to put there. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute that into the second equation to solve for x. Now, we don't know x, so I don't even have to insolve this. It's already isolated. So we'll just type in, uh, let me stick, store this, control variable. I'm going to store that as t. And so now you can just type in t 
times 35 cosine of eight degrees. And the calculator will substitute 0.994, all that in there. And you get the answer. The answer is 34.45, which is answer choice C, absolutely, C. Now, had you wanted to graph this, you would just type these in as a graph. I have it over here. Uh, uh, I typed them in already as a graph. You press enter, and the only thing you'd have to do is trace the graph. Press menu, trace, graph trace, and hit the right arrow, and it shows you the ball fly through the air. And you want it approximately when it hits the ground, which that is really, really close. It says 34.7. So you're looking for an answer close to 34.7. There's only one. Uh, this answer also is a little underneath the ground, so it had to come just slightly before it, because that says the Y is negative. The answer came just slightly before it, so it's a little bit smaller than 34.7. Which answer is a little bit smaller than 34.7? 34.5. So that's how you can do those problems.